So this is our class 610 Arian. So we've it's on an 18 plate. We've had it since new, which is coming up for four years. Uh, in that time, we've put about just under 3,000 hours on it, all under warranty. So um, we we had it from new with loader brackets, and uh, that's the loader we put on it. It's easy on and off, but you've got to make sure you get those at the right height, the legs. Once you've got that sorted out, it's easy on and off. If they're not at the right height, it can be tricky. But get that right, and it's simple on and off, and it's quick. With the um, quick hitch system, you just clamp that in there. Clamp that in, bang, pull it down, locks in. It's very simple. So this is the base model in this series, and it's uh, about 145 horsepower, six-cylinder engine. So it's not the most powerful tractor, but it's actually physically quite a big tractor, which obviously makes it good on something like a plow or um, anything uh, where you're pulling one a bit of weight up front. But it's um, it feels very big, especially when you go onto something like a Weybridge. It, it's a bit of a tight squeeze because obviously this range of tractor goes over 200 horsepower. But this this, as I say, is is the base model and uh, 145 horsepower. But it is a bit of a lump. So in the time that we've had it, we've been very pleased with it. So, well, so pleased that I've actually bought another one, which is at the dealers now, and we'll be getting it soon. But uh, there have been a few slight issues as with any machine so let's just go through them shall we so in the cab it's it's probably our favorite tractor to drive um it's comfortable transmission is really easy to use it's a toggle switch here which is just forward and back and then a, a lot further forward for a range change there's a problem with it which i i really do not like the headland button which is on top if you're uh, ploughing on a bumpy field or whatever and you hit the headland button like that, you go over a bump, you can actually click it forwards or backwards, which changes the speed you want to be going at. So for me, I would like a headland button independent of that. But that that's probably the only niggle I've got. I've got to say the transmission is very good on it. Everything's to hand on it. Joystick. That's easy, good place to be, but there is a problem with the air seat. As it rides up and down, you can see it pulling, and it and we've had it pull itself apart before now, so that, that is definitely a weak spot. But um, as long as you've got enough give. But if I put the different driver where I'm heavier than the other driver, the seat rises up a lot more when you get off it and that's what pulls it off if you go over a bump but you can see it's it's almost put too tight now so under the cab which is obviously suspended there's some pipes and they rub and one's an aircon pipe and one's a hydraulic pipe so i think they've done some sort of modification but we've had two lots of each aircon and hydraulic pipe rub through and obviously burst so that's been sorted out under warranty. We also had an issue with the air con, uh, the problem with the compressor, and it, it had to go obviously on the hottest day of the year probably, so that was a pain, but yeah, that was sorted. So at the back, the handbrake mechanism is in a place where it, a lot of mud gets and it can build up behind the lever, causing the handbrake not to release properly. So you've got to make sure that it's kept mud free in between the mechanism. Otherwise there'll be problems. So visibility with the loader on, it's, it's extremely difficult to see anything right close in front of you, especially if you're changing uh, implements on the front of the loader. But that's what you've got to expect, you know, it, it's... It's a jack of all trades this tractor is and um, it's very useful for lugging bales with a loader got plenty of power um, 
beforehand we'd ran sort of three tractors one smaller loader tractor well we just run two tractors now with uh, th this one with a loader on so it's a compromise situation having a big tractor with a loader on but you know if you're working out in a big field lugging bales you wouldn't want anything else but it's just totally useless in a small yard area you just don't even use it but we've got the manner to for that so one of the jobs we do is buck raking and uh, there's a real problem with that in that under this step the wires to the fuel filter are too exposed and uh, if you're getting into some lumpy grass on a silage clamp you can pull them off there's a really weak part in the four-wheel drive system as well as the four-wheel drive shaft comes forward there's like a slip collar over the splines which is held by a very small nut and bolt and uh, that slip collar will just push back and then you lose four-wheel drive and you, and you think it's you can't really work out what's going on but it's just a, a purely the mechanical link between the shafts has, has stopped working purely that it's just slipped off the splines and um, we've had that two or three times which is a real bloody pain really so we use this tractor with this uh, 12 ton dump trailer we've got a, a, a 14 ton grain trailer five furrow plow four leg shaker aider, um, 15 ton muck spreader so it, it it fits perfectly with what we've got and what we do with it so when I bought this I got um, four years warranty on it but I can only get three years warranty on the new one now which I'm, I'm a bit sick about that to be honest with you because I, I'd much prefer to have a four-year warranty and obviously some manufacturers are offering five-year warranty it's a real big selling point having a good long warranty and uh, it's an obvious thing where people will buy something because they got that security of the warranty so as I said previously this tractor is gonna leave us soon and uh, we're gonna have a new one exactly the same in its place